Okay, so FM 10 1.1, we're going to do some examples here. Uh, let's convert 5 yards to feet. Okay, well, 5 yards. Now, it may be helpful for you to draw some kind of picture. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to run the space here. Let's say that's 5 yards. In each yard, how many feet are in each yard? This is 1 yard. And so that is 3 feet, right? Okay, so... If there are five yards, there's going to be five times three feet, or 15 feet, okay? And one way you could think about it is literally like this, okay? I have five yards, and in each yard, there are three feet. So I'm going to have five groups of three, right? Five times three. All right, what about inches? Inches, okay, well, that's a... That's going to be another step of work here, but that shouldn't be any problem. Um, how many, if we just take a look at this here now, how many inches in a foot? How many inches did we say? Twelve. Right. Twelve inches in one, um, sorry, twelve inches in one foot. So I'm not going to make that so long. Twelve inches in one foot. Sorry, that's a little hard to see. Twelve inches in one foot. So I've got twelve times 3, times 5. You see that? I've got 12 inches in a foot. So that's 12 times 3 inches um, in, a, in a yard. And then I've got 5 yards. So what's that? 180 inches. Okay. Does everyone understand that? Okay, that's one way you could think about it. Now, there's there's another way you could do it. It's called unit analysis. And I will get you to... I'm actually going to get you to watch that video sometime. I go over how we do unit analysis in another video. I'm not going to do it right now in this lesson for these examples. But you should look up the video, unit analysis. Okay? And um, so, Mr. Mathwell. And look up unit analysis, just like that. And you'll see the instructions on there. Now I'm going to, I'm going to, um, you know, maybe bring a little bit of that in here. But the instruction will be on the video for you to watch. Okay, it's part of your assignment, actually, between now and the next few days here, over the weekend or whatever. Watch that video. So let's go to um, this one, B. Okay, convert 51 inches to feet and inches. Now this gets a bit tricky. Okay, this gets a little bit tricky. Some students um, don't understand this very well. So let me try and explain it to you. What I'm talking about here, what the book is asking, is for you to convert 51 inches. Let's say this is 51 inches. And what they want to know is how many full feet you can get out of this. Okay? And so I kind of know a little bit of the answer already. So I'm going to kind of draw the feet here. So how many full feet? And then, so that's feet. And then how many inches left over? Okay? So it's not, it's not just this is one answer, and then this is another answer. They mean this whole thing as one single answer. Just like if you talk about your height, if you are six foot one inch, that's your height in feet and inches. Get it? Okay? Or you're five foot six inches. That's what we're looking for. So how do we go about doing that? Well, there's 51 inches, and you want to get how many feet. So how would we find out how many feet? Okay, very good. We know that there are 12 inches uh, per feet, uh, per foot. So if I have 51 inches and I divide by 12 inches, that's going to give me how many groups of 12 inches. And so what is that? I'm going to get my calculator up here. Okay, so it says it's four, four what? Four point something probably in your calculator, right? So let's see, 51 divided by 12 is 4.25, okay? So that's 4.25 feet. Now, I'm not done, okay? Because I have the, the number of feet right here, four feet, but I have this left over, and I have to convert this into inches. So, let's use a different color here, and I've got 0 0.25 feet left over, right? And I know that there are 12 inches per 
Now this is unit analysis. You'll find out later. You might want to. You might really be interested in using this because it makes things quite easy. I have feet on top in the numerator and feet in the denominator on the bottom. And when you have a fraction like that, you can cancel out the things that are alike if they are multiplied together with other things. So the feet and the feet will actually cancel each other out. And so that means that I go ahead and I multiply 0 0.25 times 12. And what's 0 0.25 times 12? 3. That's going to be inches. That's my unit that's left over. So this is called unit analysis right here. This unit analysis would be this sort of uh, process right here. Is including the units in your multiplications so that you have the, the units um, cancel out. All right, so the answer here then to B is 4 foot 3 inches. That's what 51 inches turns into right here. Does that make sense? Okay, so think about it logically. Um, you know, you can use some, use some math. Knowing when to multiply and divide is tricky sometimes, and that's why unit analysis actually helps us. So let's do one more example, and then we'll move on. So 51 inches to yards, feet, and inches. Okay. Yards, feet, and inches. Well, let's take a look at this. Here's my diagram. Three feet is what? One yard. So guess what? You hardly have to do any calculation here. You know you have one yard right here, and... Do I have a full foot left over? Yes, I sure do. So one yard, one foot, and what did we say this leftover was for inches? That's three, because we did that from A. Okay. Okay, so again, how you could do that is you could go, this is how you could start from scratch, 51 inches. Now, I would maybe like to divide by 36 inches. Why would I do that? What would that give me? Yes. Remember, groups of 36 inches, that's called a yard. So, 51 divided by 36 would be... 51 divided by 36 is 1.416. 1.416. That's yards. Okay? Now, this is where it gets a little bit mathy, okay? <laughs> mathy. So we have one yard. Now I do another calculation. I have 0. 0.416 yards and I want to I want to get that into um, what? Feet. So how many feet is 0. 0.416 yards? Well, if I do my unit analysis, I put yards on the bottom and I want feet to be my end up unit. So what is the relationship between feet and yards? It's three feet for one yard. So guess what? Unit analysis says that yards and yards cancel out. If I go ahead and multiply this times three, I'm going to get my answer in feet. So 0 0.416 times three is what? Times six, you said? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, it's 4.416, that's what I meant, so let's just put that entry on there. 0.416, is, does that look right? Is that what you said? Uh, okay, back it up here, back it up here. I can't use that same number, sorry. 0 0.416 times 3 is 1.248, right on. Now, what does that give me? That's feet, right? So, watch carefully. I've got one yard. I've got um, one foot, or one, one feet, one foot. And then I've got 0.248 feet, and I want to know how many inches that is. So, guess what? I'm going to multiply by, use my unit analysis here. Feet, I want to cancel. I want inches to be left. What's the relationship between inches and feet? It is 12 inches for one foot. So now I know that I have to go this number times 12 to get inches. And let's see if we can do this right here. Okay, so 0.248 times 12 is uh, 2.976. Because we rounded some numbers here, that's going to be 3, right? Okay, so that's approximately 3. That's 3 inches. So that's your final answer. You've got one yard, you've got 
1 foot and 3 inches. So 51 inches is the same as what we did with our diagram there. 51 inches equals 1 yard, 1 foot, and 3 inches. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the answer for example 1 there and how you do some of those conversions.